As a native Mississippian who was born in Leakesville, lived in Tupelo, graduated from Starville High School, uh, went to Mississippi State. Obviously, I coached at Southwest Junior College and now very, very honored to be the coach at Ole Miss. Dad and mother live in Tupelo, brother and Olive Branch, daughter lives in Tupelo, sister in Tupelo. So if there was a family that's Mississippi made, we're in. Um, you know, we're here to, to try to create change for the flag. And in creating change is one thing that is very important to all of us. And it's the right thing to do. You know, Mississippi needs to have a flag that is great for all the citizens in our state. Mississippi needs to have a flag that is right for all of our students in state and all of our out-of-state students and student athletes that come on our campus. You know, I think we got to get to a place that what do we all agree on? We all agree that we'd love to have a state that has great pride. We all agree on that. We'd love to have a state that is flourishing economically, business-wise, and educationally. And for that to happen, we all know that the flag needs to change. We'd all like a state to where we could all recruit the very best athletes in the state of Mississippi and recruit the best athletes all over the country, whether it's at Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Southern Miss, Jackson State, all Corn Valley, and all the other great colleges in our state. We all know what good athletics on the field and in the courts in our state means. We've seen it. How it affects our towns and cities and those colleges economically, how it affects student enrollment, how it affects national publicity. So we all we know that that time for a change is now. It's a great opportunity for our state, the state that I grew up in, to make change for the better. And again, get a flag that represents all the citizens in our state. You know, I'll leave you with this. I have a daughter, Allie. She's 32 years old. She has Down syndrome. And Allie keeps us simplified and grounded all the time. And we're having this discussion at my house the other night. My wife and I, and, and we're talking about social injustice and talking about the flag change. And Allie's sitting there and she just looked at us and she said, Dad, do unto others as you'd like for them to do to you. I said, boy, that's simple, but isn't that perfect? I said, that's simple, but it's perfect. Whether you're talking about a flag change that's good for everybody in our state, or you're talking about any topic of social injustice.